Here we are at Scott Harvey Winery on a beautiful spring day and we're doing our first library wine tasting. And uh, we know Syrah does well in Amador County as well as Barbera in Zinfandel. And so we pulled up some of these great older Syrahs we have in our wine library. And here our great chef Brian is paired three cheeses with each of these great vintages. And I'm going to let Brian uh, um, explain the first cheese, why I enjoy the first wine. That is the way to do it. So for the very first pairing, Scott uh, presented me with the 2009 uh, Syrah. And uh, right off the bat, it seemed like it was a, a really age-worthy wine to, to me. So I, I started thinking about I would like to use an age-worthy cheese. And so I discovered a... Uh, Estera wine out of uh, Valley Ford outside of Petaluma and they are one of the few people that do a true aged uh, cow's milk cheese that is uh, rivals Parmesan, Reggiano Parmesan. And so this is an 18 month aged cheese. I just thought it was a great uh, combination with the uh, 09 wine. Um, not overpowering the wine, mm -hmm. giving the wine a chance to show all of its different uh, flavor profiles. Um, and then, uh, and it goes great. It really doesn't overpower the wine. It go matches it well. It's got that nice crystalline character in the cheese, which goes with the kind of uh, bright aged quality of, of, of wine. So age for age. Age for age is the theme there. Mm. How many? Oh, uh, hopefully, we have a bunch of this wine left. <laughs> How many years do you think uh, we've got there? Seems um, like quite a few still. I think so. The, uh, the 2009, I think, is of the three wines here, the most ageable one. And uh, it's, still, it's still got that great acidity that, that, that goes with the creaminess and the cheese. And uh, really, uh, um, I'm looking at probably another 12 years, maybe. On that wine, because yeah, the acidity is just still so vibrant and bright. Well, let's move to 2011. Uh, I understand you skipped a vintage. Yeah, 2010. I made it, um, but you know, it, there's a saying that you it uh, you can't make great wine out of bad grapes, but you can make bad wine out of good grapes, and I think that's what I did in 2010. <laughs> Can so. happen. So, so when I screw up, you guys don't see the wine. Uh, it just ends up uh, 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 disappearing in the bulk market. Sure, but, sure. Uh, but anyway, uh, so the 2011 vintage, which is what we have here, was a cold vintage. And in a, when you have a cold vintage, Napa Valley doesn't do well, uh, but the uh, Amador County just does great because Amador County being already a little warm on the warm side, you have a cool vintage, and you get a Napa-style vintage in Amador right. County, and uh, um, and this wine really shows it. I understand there's quite a few cold climate Syrahs. When you think of the Pinot regions uh, growing cool climate Syrahs, yeah. so for this for the 2011, um, uh, it had uh, a lot for me of uh, sort of uh, earthy kind of characteristics when I first tasted with Scott, um, and. So I started thinking about something that had a higher butterfat content. I felt that it had enough structure to handle. So I went to uh, Cowgirl Creamery in Petaluma and uh, uh, acquired some of their Strauss uh, Dairy Cow Mount Tam, it's called. And it is a, uh, essentially a triple cream uh, yeah. from some of the greatest uh, cows in California. So it has a, about the most buttery of all these pairings. Yeah. And I think the acid in the O3 uh, was ample enough to, to hold up to it. Yeah, because uh, being a cold vintage, there's more acidity in that, in that vintage. It's leaner. It's not as rich or uh, extractive in, in uh, varietal character. Um, it's, uh, it, I don't think, has as long a life as the O9. Um, but right now it's it's more mature than the 09 uh, and probably the best wine to drink with with this cheese um, because it's it's really reaching its peak good perfect mm -hmm, good okay I know they're always like oh it's hard to so uh, third is uh, the 2012 uh, which 
for me was uh, extremely balanced. I found that everything was very uh, restrained and kind of held together. And going out on the line almost a little tight in ways, hasn't really shown a lot of character. It's still really young. Still really young. So I went big on the cheese, knowing that for sure finishing was something uh, unique. And so the third cheese is unique in that it's uh, out of the San Joaquin Valley, and it is um, a really unique family that's three generations of uh, dairy farming, and the young, uh, the younger generation started making cheese, and this is their Italian heritage. This is an Asiago, what they call it, Casiago, and so it's a traditional Asiago cheese, but they brought in infused black Italian mm. truffles, yeah. so it has a big umami, <laughs> mushroomy kind of round character to it. And, uh, Boy, that's wonderful. That must have cost a fortune. You paid for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it goes with a nice expensive Syrah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> Funny how those things do go together. But yeah, I thought the 12 really. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because the, the, the 12 wine is so young, even though it's 12, um, but it's still showing so much of its young character. In this big, rich, and the truffles in there. It they, didn't really push it around, though, did it? The uh -huh. wine, you go back no, to the wine, and wine just pushes, yeah. cleans your palate, and says, give me another bite. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's great food that makes our wines taste good, and and with a, uh, a premier chef like Brian, um, all of a sudden our sales are increasing because people are tasting, <laughs> <laughs> tasting what these wines can do for them at their dinner table. Well, you life, know? life, uh, a meal without a wine would be like a day without a sunshine in my world. They just, they are so simpatico to me, it's, and particularly dairy products like cheese, which is such nature's perfect pairing, these two things, these yeah. cows that give their milk up and you coax these grapes into this sort of yeah. amazing experience, layers of flavors, when they come together, mm -hmm. uh, that's the way it's meant to be for sure. And it's back and forth, your palate. Uh, is looking for fats, and then uh, and then it's looking for acidity to to exactly. rinse out those fats, and then you go back to the to the cheese, which is this rich component, and then you go back to the wine, which cleanses the palate, and and I mean it's just uh, it's like being in, in Amador County on a beautiful spring day. <laughs>